Okay, so this is the PyScript community call for, what's the date? The 15th of October, 2024. Um, and uh, let's just kick it off and get going. Um, so uh, it's just Andrea and myself uh, at the moment. Um, there are no announcements. Um, and in terms of upcoming work priorities for the two of us, uh, what I have been doing, uh, I've been preparing, keynote speaker at PyCon Portugal this week. So I've been preparing my keynote speeches, really, basically what I've been doing a lot of. Uh, but I've also been um, making sure that I've been interacting in the discussion about the when decorator and whenables. Um, and I expect to continue to do that. And um, we have an item that both of us have put when as an item in the agenda. Uh, so that can be just one item, I, I guess. Uh, we can talk about uh, how that's going. But that's essentially what I've been up to and what I am going to do, uh, apart from be in Pi, in, in, in Pi, in Pi, in Pichigal, in Portugal at PyCon. I'll try and say it properly. There we go. Uh, and if you're watching from Portugal, I look forward to seeing you there. Um, so, Andrea, what have you been up to and what are you up to? Um, so, what I've been up to uh, improve the donkey situation because um, our best user <laughs> asked for, uh, uh, which is Josh, um, he asked for um, a way to clear or reset the terminal uh, asynchronously and um, Apparently that one well, so um, yeah, worked. Hello, Martin. Hello, Martin. Hello. Uh, and yeah, so the 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 donkey uh, the the difference between the the currently released donkey is that both clear and reset are asynchronous right now. Um, if if you invoke. In JavaScript, if you invoke a synchronous or asynchronous callbacks, nothing changes. Uh, but if you are orchestrating somehow the donkey tasks, uh, then it makes sense because when you clear and the donkey is still busy, you can actually reset the, the, the terminal if you have a terminal and bootstrap again the worker behind the scene without uh, taking care of needing to get uh, taken care of uh, to take care of every or of anything and uh, and it works so josh is happy i'm happy everyone jo is josh is very happy and, he he sent me a video yeah. of yeah, yeah. edu blocks uh running with the new donkey running with the new donkey uh this is going to be yeah. an endless source of <laughs> fun in our conversations uh edu blocks running uh with the donkey and honestly it's so fast it is like instant um and it's, it's not just so fast if you if you check the ui around mm. you you see the spinners uh when when they, they should be shown and uh, and stuff mm. like that so i i really like the way he managed to orchestrate all the things and um yeah yeah so we have a better donkey right yeah now. Better donkey. Donkey plus plus. Uh, a horse, perhaps. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's not go there. Uh, okay, so that's what we've uh, been doing and what we're going to be doing. Uh, so that's the kind of like the work priorities of the two of us. Um, and we'll move... Wait, wait sorry. I, I, I Ooh, forgot to sorry. mention the priorities. So the so we, we, we have plugins in our core and... Uh, you should be able to disable plugins, but uh, if I can quickly share my screen, Go for maybe it. I can. Yeah, this can is thanks to it. Russell Keith McGee who uh, who spotted yeah, a hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so the I the, there was an investigation from my side. Um, the thing is, we at some point in time we decided that. Errors should be explicit, right? So we have um, we have a way to disable error, but at the same time, <clears throat> if we decided somehow that on a Py editor, which works in a runner, and on a Py terminal, which also works in a in a um, we, we, which might work in a um, sorry when I say runner I, I meant worker so Py editor and Py terminal might work in a worker and um, here we have a conflict of interest because 
the worker can have its own configuration file. And when that happens, um, the configuration file does not depend on what the configuration file on the main thread uh, is doing. So if on the main thread you say plugins equal not error, that doesn't propagate in the worker if the either the uh, editor or the terminal don't have um, uh, uh, a plugin not error. So if you try to disable the error globally as a as a as a main thread responsibility, that cannot possibly ever happen. But at the same time, we say because um, the worker and the terminal, sorry, the editor and the terminal are implicitly working somewhere else um, on occasions. When when you when you have a terminal worker, that's explicit. But when you have an editor, that's implicit. And um, and so I'm trying to figure out what would be the best way to go because right now we we want to show errors and we had people complaining that errors are not visible on the page only in dev tools and right now there is the other <laughs> argument which is i don't want the error on the page i want error only on the tools so this what 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 looked to me like a simple thing to solve actually is uh <laughs> is it's a, a it's a judgment person. call isn't it as well yeah it's yeah. a judgment call yeah. and um i don't so I don't I don't feel like we should make the call. I think users should make the call. So if they expect something to happen, I, I think we should grant uh, at the best of our possibilities that, that that happens. But right now the the notify is imported from directly from the error JS, and it doesn't uh, honestly it doesn't care. And this is probably me being sloppy or anything but it, honestly because the 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 requirements were like yeah you should if if the worker doesn't start if they uh, and that could be either an editor or a terminal you should show errors on the page that was the yeah that was the discussion we had at some point um and i thought okay so if that's the case i don't even want to consider um uh plugins not error but apparently there are users that want that behavior to happen and they just want to see errors in dev tools which i think for the for the final user will be worse somehow mm -hmm. because you, you 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 don't understand what's going on but if the developer is understanding what's going on somehow and is interacting with errors and callbacks uh, events and everything um, it makes sense from a developer perspective to have errors handled the way they expect and if they want to say hey you should never show errors on the page we should probably fulfill that but it's not as straightforward as I thought and um, I don't have a solution yet mm -hmm. so this is my next priority because I think it's, it's kind of important to get this story right because the we the, from classic PyScript we we had this uh, convention that any error should be displayed on the DOM by default we introduced this uh, not error as a plugin but this didn't propagate to all the use cases that we're offering and so it's it's uh, there's a little bit more to consider that because there is a config on the main thread should propagate only the plugins property to the down to the worker property whenever that's the case and um, and all these kind of things so I, I i will have fun trying to yeah. as a priority trying to figure solve this, this out thing. And, uh, yeah i yeah. hope i hope that makes sense uh, if it doesn't please let me know either on discord or um in uh, in in the issue that there is an issue and so uh we can we can discuss there what we want really it it, 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 I, it, it, it makes perfect sense uh the way russell explained it was clear at least to me um uh yeah. perhaps talking to russell because he's the he's the person asking for this uh he might just turn around and go 
Yeah. Actually, I think I want errors for all the reasons that you've just explained. Uh, yeah. In which case, uh, we've um, you know that's that's the the the, the solution is you, you just get errors, which to me kind of feels like a sensible default. I'm trying to work out a way where you don't want that to happen. Um, you, you you really do want feedback to to the user, uh, really. Um, but uh, anyway, I, I think perhaps the first step, uh, the first thing I would do is 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 ping uh, Bing Russell and, and just try and explore a little bit further what, what's at the back of his mind. It might just be something like, well, it used to work like this and now it doesn't, and I'm like, why can't it work like it used to? When actually you may, maybe need two or three minutes to go, well, actually, blah 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 blah, and you know all of that stuff. But this is the fun of being a software engineer. You know, actually writing code is relatively simple. Figuring out what code to right is actually the complicated bit <laughs> so this is why we're always going to be um in a job uh you know yeah, and, i i can write code but it can't figure out what code to write uh so yes okay yeah andrea go for it yeah if i might the the, the last beat of the of the topic yeah. is that uh we lost somehow the not <laughs> plugin or plugins in general yes. we lost completely the plugins um as a documentation and uh, before bringing plugins back as a documentation i want to be sure that this yeah. story is uh, yeah. Is, yeah. Um, yeah. is is fully covered so that we know what eventually to to write in there if we need to change anything because he was there and uh, he's right that right now is, yeah. is nowhere yeah. and, uh, and and uh, that shouldn't be the case when it's seen, it should work the way everyone expects. This is an interesting thing is that, you know, when you and I were talking about this this morning, I went to look at the old versions of the docs and I realized how shonky the old versions of the docs <laughs> were. Search didn't work. Things were kind of in the wrong place, blah, 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 blah. blah. And it, it was just, it made me think, well, over the last year, you know, very slowly, very gradually, we've been improving the quality of the docs, we've been refactoring, we've been moving things around, adding features that had broken, like the search and, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So um, it, it kind of made me appreciate, you know, well, haven't we come a long way, um, you know, which is uh, an important thing to kind of acknowledge every so often, because often you're always looking ahead of yourself without looking over your shoulder and seeing how far you've come. But uh, okay, so uh, so uh, for the sake of Martin, the TLDR is our we are recording, and uh, um, I'm I'm from tomorrow. I'm basically away from the keyboard uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday because I'm at PyCon Portugal, traveling tomorrow, keynoting Thursday, um, and uh, you, you you caught what Andrea is going to be doing for us this week as well. Um, but uh, let's move on to the agenda items. Uh, we've only really got one that both of us have put down, so it's a double whammy. Uh, basically, um, uh, the, the, the uh, talking about the when uh, decorator or, or the con notion of when and whenables. And so this morning, just to keep folks uh, up to date, um, I created a PR uh, whose number I can't remember. Let me just get this. Uh, which is a draft PR. Um, and oh, sorry, uh, it's a two 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 four. Yeah, exactly. I'm just looking at it right now. Two 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 four. Um, and essentially, what I've done is try. It's a draft PR, and in that, I've created the unit tests that currently match how we have discussed things over on discussion two two zero three, uh, which is how might we do this this winnable thing. Um, so. Uh, that's where we are. It's a straw man. I am not precious about any of the code that I've written. So what I hope people do is start to look at that code, uh, annotate feedback and comments and things, so we can use the PR in concert with the discussion on 2203 uh, to figure out just what does this API look like? How might we go about implementing things? And the first step to that is just creating uh, those two unit tests, which is what I did this morning, uh, really. Um, so that's all I wanted to say and invite people to actually take part in that discussion. So like I said, uh, the, the draft PR is 2224 and the discussion, uh, so you can see the story so far is 2203. And the whole point of this is, well, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, Martin, but it was kind of your idea. So I wonder if you'd like to kind of give us a thumbnail sketch as to, to, to why, when, 
why, when is a thing? That doesn't make sense even oh, yeah. in, in English. <laughs> when, why is how or what? <laughs> A winnable why. A winnable why. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, it's, it's as you know, it's the fundamental notion of users as in programming languages. We have when we model the real world, there's generally three things that we model. We model attributes, which is hi, I have a name. We model behavior, which are methods like run, walk, stand, sit. But we we also, when we fundamentally model anything, right, there's the notion of out of band things that happen, like my car backfires or the phone rings, things that happen out of band. And that's events, right? <clears throat> and those are the things that we model in in literally every programming language, no matter what programming language you're using in your design. Forget before you've even written your your code. You would design your your models like that. Right? That's how you model the real world. This thing does this. It has this attribute. It does this, and it has these events. Right? That's just, it's such a useful way that we build things. Mm. And obviously, what we want is the uh, standard notion of in PyScript. We had the notion of reacting to DOM events, which is like when as a click, when this button is clicked, when that button is focused, when it, whatever. And then we realized that when we start to use other things, we had different ways of doing that. <clears throat> and so the idea of the winnable is, well, why can't I use the same kind of syntax for whatever when something happens? So put this notion of events first class in PyScript as a whole, not just part of the DOM. Yeah. Right. So it's like when this happens, do that. When I click on a button or when the speech synthesis is finished or when. Yeah those kind of things so this is really interesting because the the next step in this journey is the api uh uh refactor and for that to happen we want to be able to wrap in pythonic objects or classes um representations of the underlying browser-based api and those are in a sense a kind of like archaeological uh strata of the history of javascript uh because the earliest apis all used kind of like ready state things where you had to check on a field to see what state the object was in and then another one that was all, all about callbacks when javascript was all about callbacks and then now that you've got pro and then there were promises as well and then now we've got a wait and so depending on when the api was created uh and of course the web is very, very careful to not break backwards compatibility. So we have all these kind of like different archaeological strata of APIs. How can we wrap all of that in a consistent API and this notion of a whenable, an object that can be whened? Uh, in other words, when you implement Dunder when, you are describing how this thing may have some uh something happen in the future uh, i'm trying not to make it sound like a promise or a future or, or a deferred uh, it's but... about reactivity I would yes say. exactly it's, reactivity is a, is a good term I think. yeah yeah but what i love about this is that it's very easy for like the 99 percent type coder which is somebody we really care about in PyScript. you know how do i know a thing's going to happen well when it happens call this function yeah. you know it, it's 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 not hard to explain but th this for me is the fundamental thing about programming right for me good code should be intentional right yeah. it's like what the user is thinking not talking and that's what pro programming languages are for right it's for telling uh, like we often say we've had this discussion before yeah. right when people learn to program they we get we tell them the wrong thing we say what you're doing your program tells the computer what to do right <laughs> and it's not right your program tells another human what you ask the computer to do that's yeah. what your program's for is yeah. to tell another human what you've asked the pro the computer to do and right? uh, and that was G that was guido's genius yeah with python is that he realized that python code you know we read code more than we actually uh write it or it, and, and the, it makes not the slightest bit of difference to the computer so making python this beautiful to read language is is a good thing hence we're all yeah. here but my apologies for that historical aside go for it keep going yeah, but, but that's it but then the notion of a when to me is like we we all know as engineers we can talk up from the low level interfaces yes. like oh it's an event target or it's ad event listener yeah or whatever it is all of that stuff 
is just syntax, right? This is the beauty of AI, because the AI is going to do take care of the useless syntax for us, right? It's the intention, and the, which is interesting, right? And that's why the when is good, because it's like, as a programmer, like if I was discussing it with somebody else, I'd say, okay, when this happens, I want to do this. Mm. And it's just a simple concept. Right? It's not a technical concept. Yeah. And again, as programmers, we tend to layer on la layers of, uh, have you implemented the um, I event target or the yes. event target sub subscription policy listener factory? Yes. Right. And it's yeah. like none of that makes sense. And none of that makes sense when we write our code. It's like, so we want to write code in the same way that I would describe it to somebody. When yeah. this happens, do that. I'm like, brilliant. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. Right. That's just. <laughs> yeah. But, but this is, the, I mean, the work that we did on Invent or are still doing on Invent, although, you know, the focus is currently on PyScript because there are a whole bunch of Invent things that need this to happen before we can do the, the, the cool, fun Invent stuff. So Invent is a GUI uh, kind of framework that Martin, myself, and Josh have been working on uh, for the last nine months or so, on and off. And um, that was the wonderful thing about the code generation. Uh, or actually, when we were building our example apps, it's just the story of the app. It, it should read like the story of the app. What's going on in this app? Well, there's a thing, it does a thing, and then there are these other things. It, it should be completely clear how, how this could be laid out. And when you look at how the descriptions of the user interface are uh, laid out, it should almost read like English. Um, what's going on? I've, I've got a page in that page. I've got a vertical column. And in that column, I've got a button and it's got a text field as well. And and when I click the button, yeah, right. this thing happens, uh, you, you know. Um, but this but this is regardless of the level of your framework slash programming language, yeah. right? Steve, Steve McConnell talked about no murder mysteries, right? In clean code. This was yeah. the first version of clean code was... 1873 or something right yeah. it was um and he talks about that the, the, and, and before that literate programming right all yeah. the all the ideas loose literate programming this this idea that your programs should you, I, I shouldn't have to read code and then go on a discovery journey solve the mystery how does this work why is it doing it yeah your job as a developer right is to tell me what yeah. it <laughs> why it's like why it's doing this. Like that's your job. Yeah. Your job is not to make it work. Your job is yeah. to tell me as a reader exactly what that code's doing and why it's doing it. Yeah, yeah. And and that's why the when is so imp important for me. That's right. Yeah. Well, and, maybe, and, uh, maybe, but, but maybe it's just uh, like, I, as I get older, I just get more cranky. If I read code that I have to work hard to understand, I'm just like. <laughs> I don't I don't have the time. Just tell me what it was. Oh, it just... I've had to help a kind of friend of a friend today uh, reset their Google password. Right now for us. I, I understand what's going on here and it takes all of about 10 seconds to do that. But for this friend of a friend who is not technical over my lunch hour, uh, you, you know, uh, I, I can't just say, oh, just open a private browser tab. Just even the notion of what a browser is, you know, it, it's just right. this, it, yeah. it, it, you know, it, it's that sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 what I really love about the what you're suggesting is that we, we have to try and, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? I, it's the end of the day for me. Uh, we, we have to make it clear what we're what we're trying to help people understand, and if we can explain that in a clearly a formal technical way you know the way when in PyScript works is going to be you know form that's literally what we're doing right now is figuring out formally how it's you know it's api it's behavior and things like that but um if we do that properly uh we're helping people become more expressive and this is what we're talking about when we say a programming language is expressive it's because i can say when this thing happens do this thing and you know nobody's going like you say well what does that mean <laughs> I, feel, I feel like the when decorator and this and the idea of the whenable right then the protocol i really like right the idea that it's a protocol but then i could also provide a base class yeah that implements when but also handles say for example listeners properly right yeah. so i so so no one so if i never have to wor worry about handling you know weak references to lists of listeners and all those yeah, kind yeah. of things yeah um so and the when protocol opens that up, right? We can do it. You can either, if you want the low level control, yeah. you can implement 
Dunder when if you if you want the base class if you're just if you're just winnable you can you know inherit from the base class yeah but then also yeah. but I feel that this is potentially just a really nice useful package for Python in general not just PyScript I, I've been thinking that as well uh, as a kind of a um, well yeah because yeah. like so many of these things like how many frameworks over the years in Python have done exactly this some kind of low level some ah hello uh, hello 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 oh, dear oh, dear oh, dear let's just see so I'm sorry folks if you're watching this um my internet seems to have uh broken um let me just check what my server my not server my uh, hub is telling me uh, okay Okay, it's saying broadband's connected. So I'm guessing, um, let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording and uh, I'll upload this to YouTube later on and uh, okay, it looks like Discord is having trouble as well. Um, so I am going to um, uh, <laughs> stop the recording now. I will upload it and uh, we'll see you next week.